my mic hey yo ladies and gentlemen i ran across this picture right here on twitter the other day x if you will i won't it'll never be x it's always gonna be twitter i don't know what the fuck the brand is probably some kind of future endeavor but fuck x it's twitter got me on a side rant anyway i saw this and i was like this is a compelling question because it says who are the two worst rappers from this list and it gives nine of the best of all time and this is a tough one right here because it's like what are we what are we critiquing on what are we grading on this is what i said when i when i reposted on Twitter. For those that don't follow me, follow me. If we're going just based off a of straight skill, 50 Cent and Kanye are the two that are got to get axed. I'm sorry. There's no two ways about it. Kendrick is obviously goaded. Eminem, potentially the goat. Nas, one of the, Eminem's whole flow when he started, started based off of Nas's schemes. Drake, Drake is Drake. I don't care what people say about him. He got ghostwriters, yada, yada, bullshit. I don't want to hear it. Drake has a certain sound when he's writing his songs, and that sound has yet to be replicated by anybody else. I can pick out a song that Drake gave to somebody else and like, ah, this is obviously Drake's song. Like the Jamie Foxx track, Fall For Your Type, I'm like, this is not Jamie's song, this is Drake's song that he just gave to him for a certain dollar amount. That's how distinct Drake's pen is. Jay-Z? Jay-Z's up there with Nas in terms of capability. Nas is probably slightly better, but Jay is Jay. No two ways about it. Lil Wayne, the father, the pioneer of everything that y'all on YouTube who watch YouTube reactions and breakdowns, Lil Wayne is the pioneer of pretty much consistent, constant wordplay throughout every verse of every song. Are all the bars the best? Nah. But are a lot of them solid? Yes. J. Cole is probably the best storyteller on this fucking list, if I'm being honest with you. And then that just leaves us down with Kanye and 50. 50 is goaded, right? 50 is an icon in the game. But if I'm being honest with you, outside of Get Richard Die Trying and The Massacre, everything after that, like, failed for the most part. And it's because gangster rap was kind of starting to wean out of the, of the mainstream music. So, like, gangster rap just wasn't as popular, and that's when 50 came up. Does he have one of the best debut albums of all time? Obviously, I'd probably say top five. Does he have a crazy good sophomore album? Obviously. He could just be like Snoop Dogg and coast his whole career on those two albums alone. And Kanye. That leaves us with Kanye. When it comes to Kanye, he's an icon. He's a pioneer. He's a street fashion mogul, billionaire, you know. But his raps aren't the greatest. Like, he's got good songs, right? He's got good songs, but something about Kanye's bars are just not up to par with the rest of the... 50 is probably the only one under Kanye, in my opinion. But everybody else is above if not light years above Kanye West when it comes to lyrical capability and there's gonna be people that are like yeah but I never tell anybody to put Kendrick on when I'm in the whip like oh pass me ox I'm about to play this fucking you by Kendrick like nobody's saying that nobody's saying throw to pimp a butterfly on whenever they're in the ox and there's gonna be people that are hating against him and them just because he's white and you know some people say he's corny there's gonna be some people hating on Drake because of oh he's a ghost writer he's not even really a rapper bro when when Drake raps raps you know he's a rapper all right there's gonna be people hating on J. Cole, calling him corny too. I just don't see any two ways about it. How is it is in how it's anybody but Kanye and 50 Cent? Like when I saw this, that those were the first two people that I thought of. It wasn't even like I had to think about it. I saw the nine on the list. I was like, Kanye 50, easy. Then I now if we're talking about lyrical capability, lyricist, lyricism, I'm probably gonna go M, Nas, Kendrick. Fuck, this is a tough one, bro. I don't even know in this order. You could pretty much put anybody of these dudes at the top and say that. I'm just saying Drake because he is currently on top of the game and will remain on top of the game for basically until he rides out his career. Eminem is Eminem. He's, he's more successful worldwide. But if we're talking about just the United States, Eminem has fallen off in terms of is he going to be the number one success? I think a lot of Eminem's fan base now is going to be people overseas, whereas Eminem's like first three albums, his fan base was here. Kendrick, he doesn't drop that often for me to be like his albums are consistent, but they are consistent over four albums if you don't count Section 80. Kanye's he's solid but hit and miss sometimes as of late Lil Wayne same thing the Carter series fire but hit and miss sometimes J. Cole is pretty consistent 50 Cent again just two albums and then kind of just 
fell off. Nas, Nas can never be what Jay-Z in terms of success became. Um, so Jay-Z is more successful than Nas, even though Nas might have a better pin. It's hard to say. It's hard to say, but if we're talking about two worst rappers, overall Kanye and 50, with 50 being under Kanye. What do y'all guys think? I gotta know. You tell me. Y'all tell me what y'all's vibe is, because this is a... It's not tough for me, but if I'm looking from an unbiased standpoint, because I like all of these dudes, I would say Kanye and 50 are easily the worst rappers up there.